Mitsubishi's little Mirage Duro is a rational but surprisingly appealing five-door petrol-powered city car that's revitalised its proposition in this improved form. Passenger space, safety and efficiency are all strong selling points, but the high equipment levels are probably what you'll remember most about it. It's not the most dynamic choice you could make in this segment, but in all other aspects, we think it's well worth a look. Mitsubishi hasn't set out to make this Mirage an exciting car to drive, but the engineers claim to have made a few suspension tweaks to this Duro version uh, that'll make it feel happier than before at taking to the open road. As ever, though, this car's comfort zone remains town-orientated. For typical city car buyers, uh, the fact that the driver's seat offers such a wide field of vision and that you can place this car during parking manoeuvres more easily than almost any other small runabout we can think of will be more than adequate compensation for the fact that it isn't designed to be driven on its door handles. A key attribute of this design is its light weight. It's the only car in the segment uh, to tip the scales at under 850 kilos. And that helps the impressive fuel economy. 65.7 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and around 100 grams per kilometer of CO2, whatever variant you choose. It also makes the car reasonably rapid by class standards. Uh, 62 miles an hour from rest occupies 11.7 seconds en route to a class leading 112 miles an hour top speed. Uh, those are figures for the manual model. There's also a CVT auto transmission option offered for urban based folk. Even if you didn't know that the Mitsubishi design team had set out to style the most aerodynamic small car you can buy, then you might guess the fact from a look at this Mirage Duro. Everything about the shape, uh, the front grille with its minimal opening, the wind cheating front bumper, the deeply sculpted sides, all of it's there to optimise a slippery airflow. And although the result certainly isn't the most distinctive look in the city car sector, it's one that effectively achieves its objectives with a 0.27 CD drag coefficient that embarrasses boxy arrivals. Time to take a seat inside. <laughs> it's now so much nicer in here, thanks to classy uh, piano black trimming and black leather upholstery. There's also plenty of storage space, plus Bluetooth connectivity with music streaming, a USB slot, an aux in point and a DAB radio. Other rare features to find in this sector at an affordable price include heated seats and climate control for the air conditioning. On the back seat, things are just as they were with the original version of this design, save for this uh, classier upholstery trim. There's a usefully low transmission tunnel. Uh, the low window line makes things feel light and airy. And as we said when we first tested this car, the overall amount of space you get back here is impressive given the diminutive exterior dimensions. Now, time to look at cargo space. Fitting in larger items is slightly impeded by the high loading lip and the restricted hatch opening. But once you've got your stuff in and pushed forward the 60-40 split folding rear bench, uh, there's 600 litres of capacity if you load up to the window line and 910 litres of space if you're able to load up to the roof level. Now, not many cars in this class can better that. Overall then, if you've been with us throughout this film, you'll already know that we think this car makes a lot of sense. If we were looking to buy a new car as a second family runabout, we'd want it to be affordably priced, able to comfortably take three kids and their luggage in the back and regularly deliver over 60 miles per gallon and sub 100 grams per kilometre CO2 levels to keep the running costs low. The fact that this Mirage can do all that while spoiling you a little in terms of its specification is enough to make it worth a lot more attention in this segment than it's likely to get. Thoughtful city car buyers ought to go and try one.